Hello again and welcome to another video on how to get the most out of your Logitech Brio webcam with OBS Studio. Yesterday I made a video explaining how to get the best quality out of the camera in regard of rendering, gain and exposure in relation with motion blur when you move so that you'll have ghosting effects with your hands or flickering effects. That was yesterday, link to the description about that video. Today, I will talk about having the best resolution and rendering of a clear image in OBS Studio with whatever your camera can output. So without further ado, let's go into our OBS Studio. Basically, there are two things you want to do. First of all, as you can see here, um, in my little OBS, I added an image of myself which is much smaller in size so the webcam image has been scaled although in my introduction when I was full screen my image was filling this, the whole screen to say so however I did increase the resolution of the camera to downscale it why would I want to do this let's check out the properties of the camera as you can see the camera resolution is set to 2560 by 1440 points. This is just one notch above HD. HD is 1080 points, which is the resolution at which I'm recording this video. The whole scene in OBS Studio has been made for HD for YouTube videos, and I go to 720 points for streaming. The webcam resolution is one notch above that. Why not all the way up? Two reasons. One of them would be resources. Setting out way too much pixels than you need would additionally stress your system and it will increase the CPU usage on everything that OBS has to do with the images to compose your final scene. And why would you want still one notch above it? For the simple reason that you want to be able to increase a tiny bit the sharpness setting of your webcam without it becoming too much blocky in the edges. So you can have jagged edges, uh, too much pronounced edges if you push the camera settings in regards to sharpness. Let me open the camera setting in this Brio. It opens a default Windows dialog with the Brio. With previous cameras, it had a custom interface. And here we can see sharpness is increased to 177. 128 would be the default. The sharpness is a software uh, filter applied to your image as it comes from the camera because this is the camera setting. So the camera driver will do this and this is done on a pixel level. Now, as you can see, we have only one slider for sharpness. Those among you who are familiar with sharpness settings in Photoshop uh, or whatever other software in photo processing will also uh, know about different parameters to increase sharpness, which will be the pixel size that has to be taken into account for the transformation. That pixel size cannot be chosen here. So if you want to reduce the number of pixels that it's going to sh and sharpen in the edges, you have to increase the resolution. That is why I increase my resolution above what I need for the screen then I enhance the sharpness and it looks crisp, but it doesn't look overdone. So you don't have these jagged edges uh, all over the place. That's key. That is the first step. So first, increase the resolution just a notch above your scene resolution. Then in your video settings, increase the sharpness, not all the way, just a bit to make the image nice and crisp. And then we go on to another point that's important. In your scene, you can right click for the system menu or the context menu, sorry, for this option for the camera. You go to scale filtering and you put it into Langsos. By default, it's disabled. If you disable this, the image becomes completely jagged. If you would be watching this video full screen on an HD monitor, you would see that the image here becomes jagged and pixelated because it's just throwing away pixel lines instead of doing an actual scaling 
on the image with all the data in it. If you use anything else, it, from top to bottom, the algorithms are more and more uh, advanced. They take a bit more calculation time for your system, but nowadays computers should be able to handle Langsos, which is the softest and best. It's not too blurry. It's It contains a lot of details and it takes off this edgy stuff. So the image looks much better. You can see it on the main, edges, main scene as well, where you have me in full screen. Same thing, if I remove the scale filtering, it will become a bit more jagged. Of course, here it will be more slightly because it's not scaled down that much, but still it looks like overdone. If you change the scale filtering back to Langsos, the entire image becomes a bit softer, although it remains the resolution at which you're actually recording. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed these tips and that you can enhance your own videos now. This should work with any camera which is capable of outputting the resolution that you need. So if you have uh, another camera like my previous uh, Logitech C920, let's check it out. I will disable the Brio, activate. Oh, the color settings are completely messed up. Let's quickly fix this. So this is the custom interface and let's put the white balance to automatic. It didn't like it very much. Let's do this manually. Should be somewhere here. That's a bit too warm, but let's just for the purpose of this demonstration show this. So here my camera resolution can go up to 2304 1296. I left it on HD. Let's increase this. See if it makes a difference. Now here we can see it becomes uh, etchy and stuff. Why? Because that C920 on USB 2 has less bandwidth, so it has its limitations. It works best with the Brio, hence the title of this video, and hence the image with the Logitech Brio, because it has USB 3 and the data it needs to sent from the camera to the computer is much more limited. So basically, if you have an USB 3 camera, so not the older Logitechs, why am I looking at the Brio? I'm, I'm recording here now. So basically, if, if you have the older ones, you can give it a shot. If the image is still smooth, okay. If not, too bad. It doesn't work. But go as high as you can before you increase the sharpness. And also here you have normally somewhere in the advanced settings, this should be a sharpness setting. No, not on this one. So again, this video mainly made for the Brio. Let's activate that one. And here you can increase your resolution accordingly. Actually, the Brio can go all the way to 4K and still output 30 frames per second. But I'll leave it as it is. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and that it will help you out setting up the best image quality on your uh, OBS scenes. The same will probably apply on whatever other application that you use to do your streaming, XSplit, whatever. Um, basically, scaling, length source, camera setting, a notch above your resolution, rescale the image, integrate it into your scene, like here on the desktop, and there you have clear imagery. Thank you again. Take care. Bye-bye.